Hey YouTube and in today's video we're going to learn how to create NFTs for fun in Figma. And I'm Roy, a UI designer based in the UK. So what if brands wanted to show appreciation to their loyal fans? So Lego and Marvel were to collaborate and release NFTs. For example, the new Spider-Man movie, they would release 20 to lucky winners. Each piece would be random. So you would need a wallet and this would also help raise awareness on a chosen blockchain. And again, I'm not an expert in NFTs or crypto, but just to have fun and play around in Figma, what I've done, for example, is the Spider-Man created some components and these, in these components, we have different layers. We've got some noise layers, we've got shadows, drop shadows, you can check it out. And what I did end up doing is creating a base component. So base brick, and then I've created different variants that you can see here. And they're just different colors. If you like this, check it out, try it. This will be available in the Figma community. See what you can come up with, different Marvel characters or any type of characters that you like. It could be a series, it could be something completely different. So Venom, what I've done is I've just created all these different type of graphics using the components. For those of you who are celebrating, I would like to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas. A lot of the inspiration, you can find pixel art uh, online and you can try and base it off of that, the Marvel logo with just the M. And I created the L for Lego. I don't think they actually have this. They have L-E-G-O, but I just, again, had fun with that. So if you was designing a web page, for example, how would it look? So this would be an example of the partnership page of Lego and Marvel. So please let me know what you think in the comments and how would you go about creating an NFT? And again, this is just very simple. There is no code involved. This is all done by hand. So you're just changing the blocks this is using the base design system that we've created on some previous projects and you want to make this available to the team library so you just go to assets and then this icon here and make sure you hit publish and the pricing plan from memory you will still get the color styles and textiles for free so once you've done that you go back to your file and then you go to assets and then here make sure that you toggle on the base design system. So now you can get all the different color styles and textiles. So I hope you found this video fun and different and useful. Please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next video.